Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this morning I posted this video on laser tips and tricks. I'm fixing to go out to the shop and hope the paint's dry when I'm kind of waiting. Kind of a rainy day in Central Texas. I'm not going to go over the easy part because if you if you didn't watch the first video, these are just half inch rank rug tangles that I uh, made and rotated them. My nudge factor, I'm going to set on like on six inches. I'm going to take my smart, this is, Almost like the video I made the other day, but it's going to be a little bit different. A little bit, I've changed some things, made a little bit easier. So I made a shape of that rectangle. And this is keeping the half inch rectangles, or I made that shape of the, the triangle. Now I'm just going to take a two point line. Not working in the center of the page, I've got to hold down the control button to do that. And this is where, you know, I, I shared the file, but you could draw your own and, and uh, think about it. So select both those nodes and add a node. Now we're going to change our nudge factor to 0.125. We're going to select that node and we're going to arrow it over. Matter of fact, I like that. I think that's going to look good. Yeah, I'm going to actually arrow it down a little bit to give me more of a center. Matter of fact, that looks pretty good. Then control D and make a duplicate. And because my object origin is set to the right, I can mirror it and it's going to do that. That's going to be pretty good. Now we can take both these shapes, both those lines, go up to effects to blend. And let's just blend them three times. And if you see, if you watch the other videos, it actually put one in the center. And I like that because the original one we were doing with had one in the center. And yeah, I'm actually going to shorten this whole thing a little bit, kind of get it in the form of the triangle. That worked out perfectly. Now, because we blended it, we have to break the blend apart and you have to go and go and ungroup it. Now we're going to open up the contour docker under effects contour and we're going to contour each one of these lines. Let's try point zero five. Yep. That'll work. Click off that line and get to the next line. Click off that line because if you don't, it'll reclick that line. And that's pretty good. Now we need to select it all, go up to object and break the 10 parts of 10 objects apart. Now we need to get rid of that center line because this is going to be the thickness of our wood. And we've done pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that top stuff and the bottom stuff. Because this is going to be, and see what's going to happen. We're going to, we draw a rectangle and fill it in. That's going to be our wood. This open spot we're fixing to uh, fill in. So what to do there is take our two-point line. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Our two-point line. And try to stay on that node and then get it pretty close and draw that line. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Now we've changed our nudge factor, so we, we need to change it back to say two inches. And let's nudge that out of the way. Don't forget to take away your line. Now there's a couple ways. I'm actually gonna nudge this up. I'm gonna left click, right click, and I'm actually gonna contour this just a little bit, so it'll be off this line in a second. No, I don't, I don't wanna do that. That's, it'll be good. Now you just need to figure out how you want your pieces to come off there. And if you'll just take your two point line or a rectangle and make it 0.125 wide, doesn't matter how long it is, and we're gonna rotate it until it's kind of even with that, and then grab it and move it 
to about there. There are several ways you could do this. And for the video, we'll probably just put four, or maybe just three. Control D and make a duplicate. Ro I need to move the rotation to that center. Control D. And you could use the uh, blend tool here. We're gonna call that good enough. Now we're gonna take this and use our friend that's back minus front and we get that. Now because we're gonna put our nudge factor back on two inches, we can nudge that guy right into spot. Now there's a couple of things you gotta think about. You had wood leaking into this and you're gonna get wood leaking into this. So we need to delete this line right there and we're gonna delete, whoop. We've got a little short line there I don't like. That's just gonna cut away. We can take that note and just delete it. Nope. See, we've actually got two lines there. One of them is from the original rectangle. But we're gonna cure that in just a second. Don't worry about that. Now we need to, this was paint going into this wood. So we need to delete this one, whoop, can't do that. Let's delete that one, that one, and that one. That'll make these solid wood, I don't like that. Um, trying to figure out what to do here. Well, you know what, that might not look half bad. Let's always, you can always test it, see what it's gonna look like. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. That doesn't look half bad. That'll work. But what I would like to do is take, maybe take this node and kind of bring it into that. Make the triangle there and see that's part of our triangle, our first triangle. See if we can just delete it. And you could do a lot more with that. But now take this shape. Let's get rid of our rectangle because it's taken over. I know this sounds a little bit confusing. Control D and make a duplicate. Because our object origin's on the right side, we can duplicate it. And you know what I hit? I hit that one and not this one. There we go. I hit mirror up and not mirror down or across. Now we need to bring this node right, right about to, well, really it's gonna be easier to move this one. There we go. No, we're off a little bit. See how this one's, remember how we changed that? Well, for the video, we can just change this real quick. Let's just bring in these nodes. Not gonna be symmetrical that way, but we're good. Delete that line, delete that line, delete that line. Now, later on, we're gonna, I've got an extra line there. I'm, I'm lost. Still doesn't look bad. That might actually work, but you get the point. My calculator is right near my delete button. Now here's kind of a neat trick. Let's group this all together, control G. Now you could quite possibly put it in the center of this, and you really can. Well, but one thing you can do is you can take the smart fill, fill that in and nudge that down a couple clicks. You could, Shift select both of them and go CE. It put it right on top of the other one. Now you could grab this purple and move it out of the way and now nudge this one up to where it goes. And because we made it lower, it didn't actually work that way. But so you could just bring this in, holding down a node and have it snap to there. We're a little bit off. Make your nudge distance 
quite small, 0 0.001, and just kind of nudge this because we're going to get rid of this other rectangle. We're going to get rid of this stuff. Now, this was in the center of the page, so we need some rotation lines. So P and P, now that's our new rotation. We're going to double click on this and move it. Well, first of all, I need to make a duplicate and then move the rotation to the center and then rotate it 30 degrees or 60 degrees. Every, one, every time I make one of these, it's a little bit different looking, but who says it's not better or worse? Now I'm going to bring in a six-sided polygon. I'm going to have to rotate it 30 degrees to match mine. I'm going to hit P. I got pretty close to this actual side, but it's too thick. And hold down the shift key and just bring it in. It'll bring it in from the center. Now here's the ultimate test. Let's get rid of our indexing lines. Now this one doesn't have quite the facets, but let's keep our fingers crossed that it worked and everything worked. Everything blue is going to be now wood. So you always want to smart fill it and then left click, right click. That way you won't have any double lines. That's a pretty cool design. It's totally different. It'll be a little bit stronger. Uh, you've still got the points for your, for well, you're going to actually turn the clock, I would think, this way. So this is your 12, 6, 3, 9, and then this is your 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, around kind of giving you a deal. You'd actually have enough room to put numbers in this one, but that kind of takes away. Now, if you want to learn how to do the second part where you put a back to this, Stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.